I'm in my office at work. For those of you who don't know, I come into the office usually about three days a week, two to three days. Uh, it is Monday, so first day of the week. I just got in a little bit ago. So what I like to do first is kind of create my plan and my to-do list in my digital planner on my iPad. So I'm going to do that shortly, but I do have a taste test that I want to conduct because at the office they put in a cold brew kombucha beer tap thing. Obviously not all together, three separate ones. A cold brew one, a kombucha one, a beer one. And I am gonna taste test the cold brew because I'm very intrigued. It looks really good. It smells heavenly. And I like that it's cold just from the tap. Cold brew, if you will. So let's give it a little taste test. There's nothing in it, I'm just drinking it black because we have to do a true taste test, obviously. <laughs> it has like a super bitter aftertaste, what is that? I mean, I'm not like a huge cold brew fan in general. I'm more of like an espresso, Americano, latte kind of gal, but I thought cold brew was supposed to be really smooth. Might have a stomach it. I only got like this much to try, but I am so tired. I need like a caffeine boost today. I'm struggling this morning. I am just so tired. So I'm gonna try to drink this, by the way. Hello, welcome, I'm Christy. This is the first time you're here, hi. <laughs> this is the first of a series of weekly vlogs. I think what I've decided to do on my channel is Tuesday videos are still going to be travel videos or just random different videos that I come up with. <laughs> um, and Saturdays I'm gonna post weekly vlogs. So this is gonna be the first week of me filming my life a little bit, which I don't know how interesting that will be, but honestly I've come to realize that I enjoy watching vlogs of people's lives. Even if they're not that interesting, they're just normal people living their lives. So hopefully if you're here, you also enjoy that. <laughs> but yes, today's Monday. Uh, I'm gonna update my planner a little bit. I didn't bring lunch today and they don't provide lunch today. My office provides lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna get for lunch. I am craving a bubble tea. I've wanted a bubble tea all weekend and I did not get one. So we might get one today during lunch. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I'm gonna start working on my planner and then work on some work tasks and go from there. My friends I just ate in my car I literally scarfed that food down so quickly I'm a little bit concerned for myself <laughs> I was so hungry for lunch and it was so weird because I was so hungry but nothing sounded good like nothing was jumping out at me it's weird I think I've like kind of come off of chick-fil-a a little bit I think I've had it too much in recent months um, so I no longer crave that so I did not know where to go for lunch because nothing was sounding good. And then a, I overheard a coworker say the word Qdoba and I was like, that's where I'm going. I have not been to a Qdoba in years, but that is where I came <laughs> and it was okay. It was fine. I mean, I just was so hungry that it didn't even matter, but it was decently okay. <laughs> uh, but I just watched a YouTube video in my car while I ate and that is one of my favorite activities. I don't know if anybody else likes doing that. I love to sit in my car and eat a little something something, a little snack, a little meal, and watch a YouTube video. Just love to do it. So, I actually drove alarmingly far to get to this Qdoba. Um, there's not many in the area, 
So I drove like 20 minutes from work to get here. <laughs> I'm so unwell. But the good news is, is that I saw on the map that the bubble tea place that I wanted to go to, they actually have a location right here across this little like strip mall. There's another one right over there. But let's go over there and check out the scene. Work is going by so fast today. It's already 1236. I am hoping to leave a little bit early. It is such a beautiful day. Barsh and I really want to go take a walk at the lake by our apartment. Actually, let me show you how beautiful it is out. Look at that blue sky. It is absolutely stunning out. It is also about 65 degrees outside, so it is beautiful. I actually think this whole week is gonna be beautiful weather. I think on Wednesday and Thursday, it's gonna be like 70. I am thrilled, I'm so happy. So this weather puts me in such a good mood. I'm just like beside myself. So basically we're gonna go get bubble tea and then go back to the office and I'm gonna get some work tasks done and then hopefully get out of there a little bit early so we can go walk outside because it's beautiful. I got my drink. I am so excited. Uh, this is what it looks like. It is very purpley, obviously. It's kind of hard to see. There we go, not in the sun. So this is their Ube meets Taro drink. And from the name of it, you know that it is an Ube and Taro flavored beverage. It's actually like a frozen blended type of drink. It has the milk cap on it, AKA the cheese foam, and then it has boba in the bottom. You guys, this tastes so good. I am beside myself with excitement. Also, I love it because they play K-pop in there. And when I was in there, I heard Whistle by Blackpink. I think the Japanese version. And I also heard Safety Zone, Safe Zone from J-Hope's album. Oh, such a good song. Let's do a little taste test. Oh my God, their milk foam or their milk cap, whatever you call this. Is this called milk cap or milk foam, cheese foam? I don't know, whatever this white thing is at the top, the milk foam, delicious. Oh my gosh, there's just so good. Let's do a taste test of the actual drink. That is obviously equally as important. It's just so tempting to drink all of the cheese foam first, obviously. Mm. Oh my God. I love this drink. I'm literally obsessed with this. This is definitely my new bubble tea obsession is this Ube meets Taro drink. Oh my God, it is so good. I tried this recently and it is just life-changingly good. I am addicted to it and it's a problem. I'm an idiot. I'm realizing as I'm drinking this that this one isn't fro- is it frozen? This one's not frozen. When I got it from the other location, I'm pretty sure it was frozen. Am I okay? Regardless, it's delicious. I freaking love it. If you're an Ube or Taro fan and you're in the Raleigh area, Sipcha has locations in Cary and in Apex. Absolutely delicious, highly recommend. I am gonna go back to the office now, get some work done, and then hopefully we can get outside today. <laughs> okay, Barsh and I are making dinner. Um, what do you call these? Zu They're like a- Zucchini patties. Zucchini patties. Is this Turkish or is this universal? I guess a lot of people has it, but I had it first, so. Okay, you had it first in Turkey. <laughs> so we were making this, it's carrots, uh, zucchini grated, and then we had onion, you had egg, flour, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some salt, and you are supposed to fry them, but we're gonna try to air fry them. But please look at me in my serial killer gloves. And this is what this looks like. We just mixed all of this up. And now I'm gonna try to make some patties. This is my first time doing this. So how big should the patties be? That's too big? Not like a half a burger. Half a burger. That feels big. That is big. We're gonna be cooking Small these things. forever. Oh, yeah, that's like tough. that? Yeah. Take it out to a level you want where it's inside is gonna get cooked. Beautiful. Okay. Um, this is, we call this mujwar. 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 Okay. So now I'm gonna slap it down here. They're very wet. Should we put more flour? Okay. We have our assortment of 
side dishes, pickles, yogurt, cheeses, olives, onions, kimchi, etc. This is what we made. These look really good. They're super crispy. They smell amazing. I'm actually very pleased with how they turned out. They're very crispy on the outside. I'm really excited to try it. But I want Barish to do the taste test since he knows the recipe better than me. Okay, it's time for the Master Chef's taste test. Let's take a look. It's crispy, right? It's crispy. Mmm. Right? Mmm. We realized we forgot the garlic and the dill. We specifically got dill <laughs> to make it. But it's really good, don't you think? Yeah, those two would be really good addition. I usually, I always said this like fried. Yeah. Which fried is just different level. Deliciousness, yeah. <laughs> I just love that. This is nice and crispy, but healthy. Yeah. More so for like a patty. So just, I love that, so. Yeah, the air fryer did a great job with the texture, especially. Also, we use potato in this. We usually don't use potato on the other one, I don't think. Really? So I think that came out well, too. Yeah, I think that's probably why it, I like it with ketchup. I'm basically ruining it by adding a ketchup like an American, <laughs> <Nah>. but... <laughs> it's good however you like it. <laughs> Thank you for making this. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hello. Mm -hmm. This angle's probably horrific. I'm sorry. It will change shortly. But I am at the office again. It is Tuesday. I've had such a busy work day. It has actually been insane. I've had a bunch of different meetings. Usually Tuesdays are my busiest meeting days. And today was no exception. Um, I basically had meetings in the morning and then two meetings in the afternoon. And at lunch, um, my manager and I ate lunch. Today was one of the days where they catered lunch at my office. But we had lunch and then we took a couple laps outside of the building because the weather is literally stunning. It is like 70 degrees out and sunny. So we went and walked a couple laps around the building and it felt so nice. The sun feels amazing. So even though it is 3.30, literally 3.31, I am going down the street really quick to go to Starbucks because I am so tired. I have a bunch of different paperwork items to review and it's a lot of having to like go through and review other people's work and my eyes are like glazing over as I sit there so I just need a coffee. She needs a coffee. She needs a snack. So. Hi, can I get a double tall ice soy latte please? that drink order is not what I normally get. I really went rogue. I remember back in 2011 when I worked at the mall in Lexington, Kentucky, one of my managers would always get a double tall iced soy latte. So I tried it once and it actually is delicious. I just don't like to get soy milk a lot because I've read that soy is not that good for you. And also the soy milk at Starbucks has so much sugar in it, but today I'm getting it. I actually don't know the last time I had a soy drink at Starbucks, but today is the day I'm having some soy milk. But I like to get the tall size with a double shot on days when I just need to drink my drink fast because I don't want to drink caffeine too late. This is already a little late. It's 3.40 now. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, but it's already a little bit late. So we're going to try to drink it fast. Thank you. Okay, the drink is okay. I think I'm just not used to soy, so I was thrown off by the taste. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to drink it and get that energy up for the last hour-ish of my day. It is Wednesday. A couple quick updates. Uh, Tuesday flew by, like literally flew by. I 
don't even know where the day went yesterday. Work was so busy. And then Barsh and I came home and ate leftovers for dinner. And then we started playing the Harry Potter game. Ow, on the PlayStation. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was so much fun. It's actually incredible. The graphics are insane. The world is just like, I mean, you could spend hours just exploring everything there is in the world on the game, but then you also have quests to do. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. So we're having a blast with that. We only set up Barish's character so far, and he kind of played through until he got through his first like two classes at Hogwarts. And then I think that tonight we'll probably create my character and then I can play through to the same point. The game is so good that it's even fun to watch. So I was having so much fun watching Barish play and we'll probably switch tonight and I'll play through, which I'm gonna have a lot to learn because I play games on my Switch. I don't really play games on the PS5. So <laughs> she's got a lot to learn, but I'm very excited. I love Harry Potter. So yeah, it's a blast. Like I said, it's Wednesday. I'm working from home today. That's probably why I'm in such a good mood. I love working from home. It's also a beautiful day. It is sunny, blue skies, and what's the temperature? Siri, don't mess with me. The real feel is 75. It is 75 degrees out right now. God, I love living here. I love North Carolina. It's literally the best. Sorry, my phone's blowing up. I just like cannot believe it's sunny and 75. It's like such a beautiful day out. So what else is on the docket for today? I am obviously working, so I'm doing different things for work. I have to take one of our cars today to get the safety and emissions inspection testing done. I don't know if that's like a yearly thing you have to do in North Carolina, but we are renewing the registration on both cars. So we have to take the other one in too. Ugh, I hate doing stuff like that, but it's fine. It's a beautiful day. I'll go for a little drive. Maybe I'll get a little coffee while I'm out. So I have that to do today. I'm also going to try to film a sneaky video for my channel. I am going to do a video showing how I set up my phone because I kind of have an aesthetic set up on my phone, if you will. Let me show you, hold on. This is the cute little front uh, lock screen, if you will. I need to start practicing these words for my video. And then it opens to this, so cute. And then these are my main apps that I use. So I like to make it look really cute. So I'm gonna make a video on how I like to do that. Another life update, I am obsessed with these books by Richard Osman. It's the Thursday Murder Club series. So my sister got me the Thursday Murder Club. That's the name of the first book. She got me that for Christmas. I started reading it and I was obsessed. They are so good. The mystery part is so good and twisty. You just, the storyline is so good. The characters are so funny and cute and endearing. It's like four elderly people who live in a retirement village. They are so funny. The humor is so good and I'm obsessed with them. So as I was finishing up the first book, I was like, I need the next two because there are three total right now. So I took myself to Barnes and Noble with my little Barnes and Noble gift card and I bought the next two books. So I've already read the second one, which is called The Man Who Died Twice. And I'm currently on the third one, which is called The Bullet That Missed. And I'm absolutely loving it. I am on chapter 34 and I'll be really sad when it's done. I hope he releases another book this year, actually. I should Google that and find out because I'm obsessed. These books are so good. If you like mysteries that are very character driven because the characters in this are just so good, I feel like you'll like this. It's also strangely lighthearted considering that it's about like murder and mystery, but absolutely love these, highly recommend. I'm obsessed. One last thing for us to cover is that I got this package in the mail. I'm so excited to open this. I literally saved this to open because I got it in the lockers at our apartment complex last night and I wanted to open it in the daylight with you guys because I'm so excited to see what it looks like but I ordered this as a little birthday present for myself um it is a hope world blanket from a company called bulletproof society this is a small business I think she's based in Hawaii and she does a lot of BTS fan merch so I, when I saw this blanket, I knew I had to have it. I was just like, I have to have it. And I did not order it when she first released it. I regretted it for months afterward. I was like, Christy, why did you not just order it? You literally love it so much. So when she restocked towards the end of the year, I was like, I'm buying that for my birthday. So I did. So this is her cute packaging, Bulletproof Society. It says you obviously have great taste, which yes, yes I do. Thank you. Okay, let's open it up. Ah! Sorry. I'll stop screaming. Oh my God, the colors already look so pretty. So she offers fleece blankets for her designs and woven. And I got the woven one because I just feel like there's something about the quality of a woven blanket. And also, I don't know. I just feel like the colors looked so pretty. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so, oh my. Oh, I came with the cute little 
oh no, is that a photo card? <gasps> Hold on, I dropped it on the floor. Hold on. First of all, it came with this precious little goodie bag. So I have a strawberry high chew, which I absolutely love high chews. So I'm very excited about that. Oh, I think she also does stickers. Oh my gosh, look how cute. So I got, oh my gosh, wait. Oh, I think they have a little like QR code. That's really cute. Probably for their business, maybe to leave a review. A little branded sticker for their small business. And this cute little flower sticker, that's adorable. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Okay, and then moment of truth. I'm pretty sure I'm not even gonna look. I think this is a photo card. Back's adorable. Absolutely love it. Let's see what we get here. Okay, this is the back. So cute. Oh my god, what are we gonna get? I'm not looking because I like to be surprised. <laughs> Babies. Namjoon Jungkook, I am so excited. Gosh, I'm gonna put this up on my little BTS board. I'm obsessed. Now it is time for the grand unveiling. You can already tell, like, this looks absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, I am so excited right now. Oh my gosh. The colors, no, I'm done. Nope, I'm done. No, I am done. Nope. <gasps> you guys, are you kidding? Wait, why is this so stunning? <gasps> I'm literally backing you up so that I can show you this in full what it looks like. Are you dead? Are you freaking out? I'm freaking out. I'm literally obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, I'm beside myself. I literally love it. I'm gonna grab a little cup of iced tea from my fridge and I am going to start filming this video and I will check back in in a little bit. absolute trash heap like my hair looks so bad I actually can't but I've been doing so many things around the house today I just couldn't be bothered but also isn't this sweatshirt hilarious I got this when did I get this I think when Barsh and I went to California in like 2018 we saw this at a gift shop and I just thought it was so funny Hollywood California baby I just think it's so funny and then it turned out to be like my most comfortable hoodie so I wear it all the time so anyway I realized as I was putting away the laundry, because like I said, it's Saturday, it's about 5.30, and I realized as I was putting away the laundry that I have not updated this vlog, I think since Wednesday. She's obviously very new to the weekly vlogging schedule. Uh, hopefully I will improve on this whole vlogging thing as I get into the rhythm of doing this every week because I would really like to post a vlog every Saturday. It is kind of interesting though because I love to watch vlogs and I never think that people's lives are boring. I love to go along with them in their just normal day-to-day -day lives. But as I'm filming this, I'm like, nothing interesting is happening. So I hope this is fun for you to watch even though truly nothing interesting has happened. <laughs> Like I said, it is now Saturday. Barsh and I just ran two quick errands today. We had one of our cars in the shop, so we had to pick that up today. We've just been decluttering, organizing. I am on this mission to declutter, organize, clean out every room in our apartment. <laughs> so I feel like before the weather gets nice and we wanna be outside a lot more, I really, really, really wanna do that. So I've been trying to do that. I'm currently doing some laundry. Uh, so it's been a very lazy Saturday, but I did want to get you caught up on the week and end this video because I'm like, don't even know where we left off. But so we, on Wednesday, I think I showed that we went to this really good Indian place for dinner. We had never been there before. I think it's called Basel Indian Cuisine, Basel Indian Restaurant, something like that. Their food was so good. It is a little pricier, but the food was incredible. Like so freaking incredible. And that's right here in Raleigh, not far from us at all. And we went there after we had switched cell phone providers, which that'll come back into the story in a moment. But Thursday ended up being such a busy day. Work was so busy. I just had a lot to do that day, so I just didn't check in at all. So Thursday after work, I had a hair appointment. It's gonna be really hard to see what I did with my hair because it looks like this, but I got some highlights. 
She's got some highlights. She's a little bit lighter now. But before I went to my hair appointment, I stopped by the Photoshop, which is a business in Cary that develops film and will print your pictures for you. And I had two film rolls that I have been sitting on since 2021. So I was super excited to get them developed finally and I got them printed which was such a good choice because the pictures turned out beautiful. I was super proud of them but a lot of them were pictures from the trip that I took with my cousin Danny when we went on a camping trip out west. So the pictures are incredible truly. I don't even know. I'm going to share them on my Instagram over time so if you don't follow me on Instagram it's Christy in the city like it is here but I'll start sharing those eventually. I'm really bad at Instagram. Um, barely ever post on there but I do want to post those because the pictures are so pretty and I'm so proud of them. But yes, that was Thursday, hair, photos, and then on Friday I was working from home and kind of had a busy day as well. Ended up having to go to the Apple store because after we switched cell phone providers, my text messages weren't going through as iMessages, which if you're an iPhone user, you know that that's weird and you know it's a problem and you know it's annoying. Uh, so it was kind of picking and choosing who was going to get iMessages and who wasn't. Like when I texted my manager, it went through as an iMessage, but when I texted my sister, my mom, pretty much anybody else, it was going through green like an SMS message. So I went to the Apple store. The man fixed it in five seconds flat. So thank you, sir, at the Apple store at the Crabtree Valley Mall. Didn't catch your name, but thank you for fixing my phone. Something just wasn't selected. Like something just needed to be checked off in the settings and then it was fixed. <laughs> but this is why I've not filmed Friday because Friday was kind of a maintenance type of day, which are not usually fun types of days because I actually ended up having to take my work with me on the go. I had made appointments for both of our cars because in the state of North Carolina, if you're gonna renew your registration, you have to do a safety inspection and the emissions testing, which in Chicago I wasn't accustomed to. This was like a whole process here. So I had my laptop was working from AAA while they did their whole thing. And yeah, so that was like Friday afternoon. Was it going to the Apple store and then going to get our cars looked at, which, you know, two tasks that I don't enjoy, but I'm glad that they're done now. Now I can do our registrations and move on. So that just brings us to Saturday. That brings us to today. Like I said, it's like 5.30. That's why the lighting is so bad because it is practically dark out. <laughs> um, it was a beautiful week this week weather-wise. And then today is a little cooler. It's like 60 and very cloudy. And tomorrow it's gonna be colder and rainy. So I have a feeling that tomorrow is going to be a pretty low key day. I know that on my list of things to do, I want to organize some things in our apartment, clean some areas out. I think I want to do our closet maybe tomorrow. Um, so nothing too crazy. I really want to finish my book. Very relaxing weekend overall. So I hope that this vlog was fun to watch. Life, I guess, is just really not always that interesting. So hopefully this is fun to watch. Next weekend, we are going to Silver Spring, Maryland to visit my best friend and her family. So I'll obviously be vlogging as much of that as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. I upload a new video every Tuesday and now I'm trying to also get on the Saturday train. So potentially two videos a week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one.